See some of the women brought their purses with them here tonight. I think it's so weird that women carry an entire purse with them everywhere they go, and all guys have is a wallet. Like, why do women need something 10 times bigger to carry 30% less money? I didn't say it's right, I just said it happens. <laughs> they say the economy is getting better though. The unemployment rate just hit an eight year low. People are finally getting back to work in this country. Which sounds like a good thing at first, but as far as I can tell, it's just because everyone became an Uber driver. <laughs> like Obama wants you to think this country is creating jobs, but it's not. This country created one job, which is Uber driver, and then we all signed up for it. <laughs> So now our entire economy is based on the fact that we take turns giving each other a ride to the airport. <laughs> in exchange for the same $30. <laughs> As everyone now, no matter what they want to do, their fallback plan is to become an Uber driver. Which is weird, because when I was in philosophy class studying Nietzsche, they taught us that an Uberman was someone who could accomplish anything. But in the real world, it turns out an Uberman is someone who's failed at everything. <laughs> and probably majored in philosophy. <laughs> now Uber's getting so popular, it's putting taxi drivers out of business, which makes it the only industry where entitled white hipsters are taking jobs from honest, hardworking, illegal immigrants. <laughs> People don't want to like drive themselves anywhere anymore. They don't even want to walk anymore. Everybody's got those hoverboards. Like when I was little, the movie Back to the Future predicted that we would have hoverboards in 2016, and they were right. But what they didn't predict is that America would get so fat in the meantime that hoverboards can't hover, they just roll. <laughs> and then burst into flames. 